the Orion Nebula. There are vast clouds of gas in interstellar space where stars are born, known as nebulae. One of the most well-known is the Orion Nebula, which can be seen in the constellation Orion. This animation shows the Orion Nebula and some of its neighbours. Stars in the night sky are grouped into constellations. These are patterns that were thought to resemble animals or people from mythology and was described originally by the ancient Greeks. Modern astronomers have drawn imaginary lines around each constellation as a guide to the night sky. The constellation of Orion the Hunter is one of the most distinctive in the northern sky. It was thought to represent the hunter kneeling with his bow and arrow. Orion contains a number of interesting features, including a red giant star, very bright stars, and three important nebulae. Rigel is the brightest star in the Orion constellation, and is also the sixth brightest star in the night sky. It is, in fact, a binary star, but the much dimmer and smaller Rigel B is normally outshone by the bright Rigel A. Rigel is in a region of the sky known for its large numbers of nebulae, or gas clouds, the biggest of which is the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula, like all nebulae, is a massive cloud of gas and a breeding ground for stars. Regions of the gas come together under the influence of gravity, becoming denser and hotter as they do so. Eventually, the gas becomes hot enough to kickstart nuclear fusion reactions and a new star is born. The Orion Nebula is one of the biggest nebulae in the sky and can sometimes be seen with powerful binoculars. Above and to the left of the Orion Nebula lies the Cone Nebula. It is so named for the cone-shaped dark patch at its bottom right-hand corner. You can see this more easily if the picture is rotated so that the cone-shaped patch lies at the top. The mysterious Hubble's Variable Nebula was discovered by the astronomer Edwin Hubble. He noticed that, unlike most nebulae, it changes shape and brightness very quickly, sometimes over a matter of weeks. This variability is thought to be caused by young stars throwing out plumes of gas while in the process of forming inside the nebula. These plumes are very fast moving and reflect the light of other stars, making it look as though the nebula is constantly changing. Hubble's variable nebula is invisible to the naked eye and can only be seen with a relatively powerful telescope.